Hey, yo. Yo, what's up, y'all? Hear me out there? I'm coming in good. I'm coming in live. What's going on? Lockout Men here with another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Welcome back to the stage of history. Yes, yes, yes. The last calls, last couple of calls been very good so far. It's very good so far. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, man. Uh, I wanna I wanna show you guys something first before I get into all this to let you know that to let you know that it's real out here. You know what I'm saying? It is real out here when it comes to these trucking companies trying to recruit these young cats, these uh rookies, these veterans and all this good stuff. Let me show you something right quick. It's my email right here. You feel me? Email is filled up to the brim with companies hollering at your boy. Companies like Covenant, Cohen. I got a dude named Brad. I got Western Express. Shit named Laura. Company that's that's offering me leasing. MK Recruiting is hollering at your boy, man. I mean, it just it just goes on and on and on and on and on up in this email, man. I kid you guys not. As much as I be making these uh, phone calls to these other companies, I want to just let you guys know at first that I'm good with the company that I'm with. All right, that company happens to be JNR Swoogle small trucking company up in minnesota so if you guys want to know about jnr swoogle i definitely don't have to make a call to them all you guys have to do is just make a call to me and i will let you know everything you need to know about jnr swoogle the same way that i ask the questions to these other recruiters it's the same way that you guys can ask me and or katie uh the same questions and we will give you the answers that you want and or need to find out about JNR Swoogle. Driver Pulse, the app that you guys need to download for uh, new drivers and all drivers alike. Look, if you're in the transportation field and you want to, but if you're in the transportation field and you guys want to get uh, get on with the trucking companies driver pulse right here and oh 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 look at look at that dick lazy trucking yes sir why don't you give them a call and give a shout out to uh shelly that's my girl over there over at dick laving truck dick levin god damn it man dick lazy trucking give her a call man tell her lockout men sent you over there to holler at them all right all right so let's uh yo Without further ado, man, let's get into this uh, episode of Lockout Men. Mates the call. This happened to be a subscriber request call. Or is it? Maybe. I don't know. But it's already in progress. Check it out, y'all. Lockout Men here once again. Uh, about to make another call for you guys. Hey. I mean, I, I know I'm I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to keep it up, but but it's it's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? To keep up with these these phone calls for you new jacks, man. Especially when I'm not getting paid for it or being a sponsor for it. But I like doing it though, so it's all good. It is a subscriber call, but I can't quite remember the subscriber that requested this call. Um. But it is to another flatbed company, though. You know what I'm saying? It's to another flatbed company. So it's time to find out what TMC is all about. Let's get them on the phone right quick and have a nice little chat with them. <laughs> TMC is Eric. Hey, Eric. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, I was uh, calling back. Actually, I called earlier and uh, I chopped it up with Gus, but he sent me over okay. to he sent me over to the uh, experience side, I guess. 
But uh, nobody ain't answering. Uh, nobody ain't answering the phone over there, man. I mean, I, I they're, they're 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 in a meeting right now. Um, uh, they're all in the conference room. Oh, right okay. from where I sit. Oh, but, okay. Well, listen, yep. man. This is um, I'm just calling just to get some general information, man. I mean, I I okay. I got uh, I got over three years of experience, but basically, I just want to. To get a you know background about the company, if I may, I you know I got a few people that's you know that's still in school that's that's you know coming up asking me like yo uh, you know who should I, who should I go with or what should I do so you know I figure since I'm interested in these companies as well I thought I would ask for them as as well so if you don't mind I, I like okay. to, I like to talk to you a little bit if if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, absolutely. I, hey, I appreciate um, what, that. What what kind of what kind of what kind of trucking have you been been doing? Um, uh, my have you been my pull, pulling dry dry van or reefer or flatbed or what? What have you been doing? Well, I I've been pulling uh I I pull dry van and reefer. So uh, I got okay. three, you know three years of experience uh, pulling dry van and reefer. Uh, I see it, there's a lot of work in uh, flatbed, so flatbed will be something that I might like to do or some something that they might like like to do if I pass that information on. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, with flatbed, I mean, you don't you don't have to load and unload, but you do. I mean, I'm sure you see on the road with the trucks with the tarps on them. Um, so that's the driver is, is going to be responsible for securing his load. So whether that requires a you know chains or straps um or a tarp if it does require a tarp there's additional pay involved there um it's going to be an extra 30 or 40 dollars there um you should be able to do that in, in an hour maybe a little long a little more than that but once you get it down um you should be able to, to knock that out in about an hour okay is there um is there any like dropping hooks or anything like that, or is it just is just all not mode? not not in, not in flatbed typically. Um, a lot of times you're going to a you know it's not always going to a warehouse. A lot of times it's going, you might be going to a job site and dropping off you know some pallets of shingles or something, whatever may be needed. Uh, but with that, um, the the unload time is going to be a lot quicker. Oh, okay. Um, it's usually you're usually taking somebody something that they're that they're waiting on. Okay, so so this it's better than pulling reefer. <laughs> you be waiting ages when you be pulling reefer. Hey, uh, do you guys uh, yeah. do you guys well since this is like the the uh, you know coming out of school side, do you guys offer CDL training for uh, for anybody that's interested? We do, depending on what state they live in. Um, can, who do you have somebody in mind? Uh, yeah, I got a few. Like I said, I got a few people in mind. Like I said, I'll go back and tell them that I talked to you. We we offer it, uh, but we, we we don't offer it um, if if they live in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. Why now? Why is that? If I may ask. Well, it's a, a couple of I mean, one of the factors is it's not as far. You know, it's far far away from the school we have our school's in iowa it's in des moines iowa so those states are pretty far away and then also we're not short on drivers in those states at all either uh, i got you i got you if they live in one of the states that you offer uh cdl uh -huh. train, uh, that you offer cdl training what, uh let's say they go through the process they get their license they get out what would be their obligations to the company so if they work here for a year um then then you know that's that's then they're free to do whatever they want okay and there's no cost no cost at all to them all right other than a, other than a, um, uh, other than a high uh other than the areas that you mentioned um for you know not the school part but you guys do hire out of those areas though experience right? yes we do oh, yep. okay Yes, we do. Where's the uh, yep. where, where's the terminals located at? So, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, Indianapolis, Columbia, South Carolina, and Joplin, Missouri. Our drivers, though, I um, mean, once you once you have your own truck, when you go for home time, you just take it with you. You just have to have somewhere to park it. Awesome. Uh, hey, is there a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much it is? And I, I, I'm talking as an experience. Yep, it's it's either it's either three or three or five thousand uh depending on um how how you're evaluated mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, that would be decided during the application process. But um, if, if so, I mean, if without having flatbed experience, um, it'd probably be three. Oh, okay. How how is it paid out? You know. Uh, yep, it's I got I see it right listed right here. So thousand uh, dollars after three months, thousand dollars after six months, and then fifteen hundred after a year. Oh, okay. So it's pretty quick. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Hey, let me ask you this: is that is that sign-on bonus is uh, connected to uh, performance base? Like you got to hit a certain amount of miles. Or anything like that, in order to in order to receive that uh, that uh, bon the sign on bonus. No, no, not that not that I'm aware of. I think it's just, I mean, um, as long as you're here, you know, you hit the three months, you'll get the the first thousand. Hit the six months, the second thousand, and then the, after a year, the rest of it. Okay. Um, I uh, yeah. I, you know, if, I, I mean, if, if you're if you're not hitting, if I mean, if your performance is is really bad, bad, I mean, you're probably guy wouldn't stick around a year anyway probably right right Cause we, we pay based on performance anyway so either either we're, we wouldn't be happy or the, or the you know the guy's not making money and then wouldn't we wouldn't be happy being here anyway exactly. we pay on performance um as far as your percentage we pay you by the load mm -hmm. so and whatever percentage you get is going to be based on your your performance you have reviews every 30 days okay what about uh so I talked to, uh, I, I called another flatbed company. Uh, you might be familiar with them. I, I talked to Melton and, uh, and, 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 you know, I talked to them and see what they was about. So let's just say they offering five cent more than what you guys are offering. Will you be able to match them? Uh, match? No, I mean, we're, so we offer a percentage anyway. Um, okay. so this, I mean, do you, they're, let me see what the experience cents per mile is going to be. But um, we do have a cents per mile. But I mean, if you talk to any drivers here, they're they're not they're not choosing to get paid that way. You'll make more on percentage. Okay. Okay. What's so I mean, if you if you see a TMC guy out there, I mean, you could be on the road or something. Ask them if they get paid cents per mile. They're going to say heck no. Yeah, I see. I I see a lot of YouTuber uh, YouTube videos on uh, TMC and uh, what they what these guys is doing with you guys. Um, for yeah, I'd have to I'd have to get with the experience side there, but I, I believe it's going to be forty eight. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's going to be the option there. Like I said, or or twenty seven percent to start out. All right, that's awesome. Like I said, this this is just you know just conversation. That's all. Hey, do you guys uh uh do hair follicle tests for pre-employment they've I've, I've 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 heard them doing it before i mean some sometimes it'll be urine some uh, i mean most of the time probably urine all right how long um this is flatbed so how long is the orientation because i'm assuming during orientation that's when we're going to go Ex for yep yeah, for uh well for ex experience it'd be it'd be one one week and for a student coming in two weeks Okay, and that and that's going over all the securements, the tarps, and all that stuff. Yep. How uh? Yep. How much we get? Uh, do we get paid for uh, orientation? Yeah, it's going to be either either six hundred dollars or or a thousand if if they feel like you know your your experiences. Uh, okay. So, however, however, when you go through the approval process, it'll, it'll be either six hundred or a thousand, but they'll be able to tell you that you know. When the offers made. Gotcha. What's uh what's your policies on felons? Felon uh guys with felons? Um, can't can't have any in the last ten years. No, I got so much stuff on my head. Um, I tell you what, like doing the training, like, you know, when we go out with a trainer and all like that, how long is the wait time for a trainer? It's usually just you you get done on orientation on Friday and you get in the trainer truck Sunday night. Awesome. Well, how much experience do he has? What's that? How what much? Do you mean? How much experience do do a typical do you got do your trainers have there? They've they've uh, well, depending on what they've done prior to that, but all of them have at least been with TMC for six months. Okay, all right. Um, do you guys offer team? And then they and then they have to have been you know performing pretty well in order to, to be approved to train. Gotcha. That's now that's good to hear because some of these trainers out here is like awful and they only do yeah. it for the money. 
So yeah, I mean, there's guys that'll apply to be trainers here and get turned down for it. So. I got you. Um, after a, after te, uh, after training, do you, well, let me ask you this: Do you guys have teams there? And after ten, no, oh, oh, no teams. All right, so this is all nope. solo. No. Nope. All right, so you already mentioned yep. you already mentioned the cent per mile, so I don't have to go back uh, on that. But it, if you notice, know is it is is the cent per mile or the percentages? Well, if it's percentage, I'm sure it's, it's straight pay. But for cent per mile, is it is it based on straight miles or is is there a sliding scale? Or would you know that? It's zip zip code zip code to zip code. Do you all right? So hey, let's say I come on board with you guys, and I know the first week I'm gonna, or within the first week before I get paid, uh, I'm gonna be a little bit short on funds. Do you guys offer pay advances? Yeah, they'll they'll do. Um, if you, uh, it's not a lot, but you can get fit, I make fifty dollars um, each Wednesday before you get your first check. Okay. Okay. How often do the pay increase there? Or the well, on the on the cents per mile, if you if you're choosing that cents per mile route, which I was like I was saying earlier, I wouldn't advise it. But um, it's going to be um, after, it's going to be every twelve months. Um, on the percentage pay, you know you can you can have a pay increase after thirty days. Awesome. All right. Uh, per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? Uh, I don't think the. I mean, I've never I've never heard of it here. So okay. So that's something you probably might not know about. Uh, do you know anything about the? Those those guys those guys, those guys are actually back at their desk now. If you want to if you want to chat with them. Um, no, I'm pretty good with you, man. I mean, you do. I mean, okay. I mean, okay. I, I mean, you 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 doing pretty good. <laughs> um, uh, what about uh, <laughs> what about vacation and holiday pay? Do you guys offer that? Yeah, but so vacation you get a week after you've been here a year. You get two weeks after two years. Um, and then it, it's going to be two weeks until if you were here ten years, it would turn into three weeks per year. All right. What about holiday? Pay? Um, holiday pay. Holiday pay. You're you're off um, on the the major holidays. Uh, it's just just a, it's just a day off though. Oh, okay. Well, actually, in the trucking industry, the major holidays is uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> maybe. Fourth of, yeah, maybe, fourth of, maybe Fourth of July. Is, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe Easter. You know what I'm saying? But every all the other holidays, yep. not. Nah, we we don't look at that. <laughs> um, breakdown pay and uh, detention pay. Do you guys offer that? Yep. Breakdown. Uh, let's see here. Fifty dollars first day, fifty dollars second day, and then third day it'll start being whatever your daily average has been. Oh, okay. Okay. Now this is flat. Um. And this is flatbed, so yep. you you pretty much said that you know people want want their lows right away. So I'm going to assume there's uh -huh. not that much of a detention time there with you guys. No, and it's going to depend on um, it's all worked out with the customer. If they, if that I mean it's going to uh, that's the word I'm looking for. But it's going to it's going to vary depending on the customer. You know, that's going to be worked out. Right. To, with each account, so you'd have to you'd have to actually get with your with your fleet manager for customer specifics on that. All right, uh, this is also flatbed. Do you guys do multiple stops doing flatbed? No, typically not. Typically, um, you'll have you'll have a load. Um, goal would be to to get that load delivered in one day, um, and then get your break in, and then you know. A lot of guys will get the load load delivered every day. You know, in five in five days, Monday through Friday, you should be doing four or five loads. Okay, and especially doing percentage, so they're gonna probably want to get more loads within the week, so they can make their paycheck yep. pretty good. Okay. Do you? Oh yeah. Do you, yeah. Do yep. you guys uh, require hazmat? Not to get started, but they're gonna want you to have it um, after after about ninety days. I mean, it's gonna and it's gonna that, that's those loads are more expensive anyway. So on that percentage pay, it's gonna you're gonna want it. Okay, dude. So let's say after ninety days, I go get it. Would you guys reimburse me for getting it? I don't think they do. Um, like I said, though, it's gonna it's gonna pay for itself. All right. What uh what benefits do you guys offer? 
We have we have the whole the whole shebang there. So health, dental, vision, prescription all comes on one plan for thirty one dollars a week, um, and then four hundred one k, um, and then we're also an employee owned company. So yeah. after you've been here a year, in addition to your in addition to your four hundred one k, you're gonna have um, you're gonna start receiving uh, employee. Um, have company shares that are going to be put into an, a retirement account for you as well, um, and that's been averaging each year somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand. Okay, now let me ask you this: um, I, I I hear of uh, employee-owned uh, companies and stuff like that. Help me understand a little bit more about that. Like, like when somebody say employee-owned company, is that like? We, the employees, have a voice in the company as far as day-to-day -day matters, or is this just something? No, there's there's still going to be there's still going to be. I mean, that'll. Um, I mean, if there's something, if 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 you have a, a good idea or something, yeah, share it. But it it means that um, the the stock, the company stock, is owned by the employees. So each year that you're you're here, you know, you're given more you'll own a more, um, you know, a little bit more percent of the company. Okay, okay. But we, but we, the employees, won't have no, no input on a day-to-day -day basis, right? No, okay. no. Yeah, no. That, that's, that's what I needed, needed a little bit of clarification on that, you know what I'm saying? Because when I hear somebody say, yeah, if we're an employee-owned company, I'm like, oh, okay, well, we're, we we gonna have some say so. so. <laughs> yeah. So we we uh, the employees own forty nine percent of the company. The the guy who the guy who started it still and our CEO still owns fifty one percent. I got you. I got you. So he got much of a say so in the in in the matters. Yeah. How, how many uh right. how many how many miles a uh, uh how many miles a week a av uh driver can average? Fleet fleet average fleet average is twenty one hundred. Okay. What uh what lanes are available? Or uh, is there any dedicated lanes or is this is just all OTR? So yeah, I mean we do have quite a few um uh, different options there. We got a uh, uh steel account hall and steel. There's a uh, there's a sheetrock um account out there and then there's um uh, I think we have maybe three I don't have to look here. Okay. This really isn't my forte either doing the dedicated yeah. stuff. But no, that's cool. I mean, you don't have to look into it. At least, at least we know it's there. So, uh, what about uh, what about scales and tolls? Do you guys reimburse for that? Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, you for the for the toll. I mean, you'll have the the easy pass, but okay, okay. Uh, home time. Uh, you mentioned that in the beginning of the conversation. Uh, What's so it's available in that area. It's gonna be you. You'll be able to get home every weekend if you want to. Oh, uh, okay. So what's the? Uh, all right. So what's the maximum amount of time I could take for home time? So say for example, I can. I need like, like yeah. three days, um, four days, well, five days. Well, if you want, if you want more than just the Friday afternoon, Friday evening, the Sunday night, um, you'll you're, you'll have to stay out for longer. Okay. So it's it's gonna be typically it's gonna be fifty one hours Friday afternoon to Sunday night. All right. So my fleet manager, man, how, how many drivers I got to share with him? About thirty. About thirty. All right. What's the uh, pet and rider policy there? No pets. Uh, rider over the age of ten. Family members over the age of ten. If you have a girlfriend or you know. Something that you live with, they'll they'll go for that. Okay. Do we got to Do we got to Well, I know some companies want you to pay for pets, but do we got to pay for riders? Dollar a day. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, man, listen. I'm I'm not I'm not too keen on going to uh, New York City or California. I, I'm really not a fan of driving either either or states. Is there any force dispatch there to those cities? Or to those states, there, there, there is. Um, California is going to be a no, though, and we don't really go out there. But uh, um, I mean, if, if if there's 
you know, wherever you're at, um, when you get your load dropped off and there's, you know, you're the closest guy to this other load that needs picked up that might be 50 miles down the road and it's going to New York, yeah, it would be forced. All right. What if, uh, what if I, so you, you brought me on, I'm, I'm driving, I'm, you know, figuring out everything and up all of a sudden I'm not feeling it or, or I, did, you know, get a better offer from somewhere else. What would be the policy on turning in the truck? I want you to, to bring it to a terminal. Okay. And that would be it? Just give them the keys and call it a day? Yeah, they'll, they'll just do an inspection on your, your load securement, um, you know, your load securement equipment. Okay. Um, but, but, yeah, go turn it in. All right. Your fleet manager will probably want to maybe speak with you on the phone if they're not at that terminal, but just kind of see what's going on or why you're leaving. But. Okay. Now you uh now you already mentioned that uh that most drivers there prefer percentages over CP uh CPM but um what about uh leasing you you guys do lease options there Yeah once you've been here 6 months you can you can do that from what I hear you're better off going out and buying a truck on your own but because <laughs> um, I mean, though, that lease purchase, that, I mean, that, that's gonna that's gonna come out of your check, right? Okay, but you guys do offer it. You you know it. You know any a uh, little bit more than what you already know, or that's all that you that you know about the leasing. Yeah, I, I know nothing. I don't know anything about that really. All right, all right. Uh, the equipment there. Do you are they autos or ten speeds or both? Both. Uh, they're gonna eventually be all autos, but as of now, we got we actually have nine speeds, thirteen speeds, and automatics. Okay. Uh, are they are so they're between personal preferences on what the driver want to drive, right? Well, depending on if I mean if there's automatics available, unless you have a restriction on it. If there's, I mean, if we don't have any available and you don't have an auto restriction, you'd have to go on a manual. Gotcha. All right. Uh, for driver comfort, man, because I'm all about the comfort when, while I'm out here. What amenities do you guys offer inside the truck? Uh, back by the bunk, there's a 22-inch flat screen TV, um, and then there's a spot to, for you to hook up um, mini fridge and microwave. Oh, okay. So um, you can get um, direct, we have direct TV option, um, satellite radio. That is at a cost to you, though. Um, but that direct TV, I think, is forty dollars a month to start out somewhere around there. Okay. And then, um, as you accumulate performance points, you can get it down. I've seen guys that have it less than ten bucks a month. Okay, awesome. All right, what about uh, what about the drive cams? Do you guys offer that inside your trucks? Yep, some, some, all of them, but yeah. Okay, and they're forward facing and outward facing, or just outward facing? Both, both. Okay. All right. What uh, what y'all? But we're not. I mean, no, no, but nobody's gonna be sitting there staring at you or anything unless there's a critical event, then they're gonna go back and review. All right, okay. Awesome. What if, what are the trucks governing that? Sixty-two and a half. Sixty-two and a half. Yes, sir. Oh, that's ugly right there, man. Oh, that's nasty. Sixty-two. Um. Is there is there more on the on the cruise or that's just on the cruise and the pedal? That's 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 I mean it, it's that's as I understand it that's what it, that's what it is sixty two right between sixty two and sixty three. All right, all right. What's your name again? Eric. 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 There it is. All right, yep. Eric. Yep. I only got I only got a few more questions, man. So far, thank you for for uh, rocking out with me on this. But do you offer a refresher course that? Uh, for drivers that haven't driven in a while, we do not. Um, the, and if that was the case, the training is going to want that that person to go take a refresher course before they come in. Gotcha, gotcha. What's the number one reason to drive for TMC, man? I, well, I mean, con con consistent, consistent loads. I mean, uh, not a lot of downtime, and we don't have guys waiting for hours to get unloaded or anything like that. Um, pay, I mean, the performance-based pay, the, I mean, really, the, in my mind, the, the employee-owned thing is huge. I mean, that's, I mean, it's 
in ten years, it's reasonable to think you'd have a you know a little over a hundred thousand dollars in that account. I mean, and I know I can't save that kind of money in ten years, but and that's just given to you. That's not something you have to contribute to. All right. All right. Um, the trucks. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be in you know some of the nicest trucks out there on the roads. I mean, those Peterbilt 579s are hundred eighty thousand dollar trucks, brand new. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Hey, man. Uh, so far, thank you for uh, uh, chatting it up with me, giving me a little bit more information about TMC, man. Is there anything else that you could touch on that I didn't ask? I don't. I don't think so. I think you kind of went over it. Um, right. I mean, I'm and I'm not an experienced recruiter anyway. So I mean, I'm. I deal with the students. It's kind of some of the stuff. I mean, I may have um, not known everything, or maybe could have, somebody else could have went into a little more, more detail there. All right. But so far, man, look, the, the, you know, for the new guys that I'm going to take this back to, man, they 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 will appreciate that very much. You know, I you know I record okay. my con I record my conversation. So when I get when I get this information to them, I definitely will send them your way so you can uh, so you can get the credit. Uh, how long you been a recruiter for right. the company? I'm since uh, I've I've only been here six months. I just, I moved back to Iowa where we're at. That's uh, mm -hmm. where I'm from. But I was in Arizona for for the last seven years. I did recruiting down there, but it was not in the trucking world. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, for the little bit of experience that you got, man, you you gave me a lot of information on it, so I really do appreciate it, man. So, so um, Hi, man. so for the guys that uh, so the guys that I'm going to send to, what's the website I need to give them to the, to get more information about TMC? Yep. So. All right. Well, cool. I appreciate it, man. Well, hey, again, Eric, thank you very much for uh. For hollering, bet, yeah. man. I, uh, I really do appreciate okay. it. You have a good all day, right. all right? You have a good day. Yep, all right. You too. And there you have it. And there you have it. There you have it, man. TMC in the book. My man Eric, you know, that handles all the new guys, which this video is pretty much geared towards the new guys that's coming out of the school that got less than six months or three months or whatever talk to my man eric over at tmc if you guys want to know a little bit more about tmc there's plenty of videos in particular my man choice mass he has some good videos on his channel uh about tmc because he rocks out for him so look him up choice mass my dude um well that's it for this episode of lockout men makes the call you guys know what to do if y'all interested in any questions that you guys want me to ask leave it in the comments below if you guys interested in any companies you guys want me to call as always shoot me the comments in the comments below and i will make the call for you guys and chop it up now there's a few uh, subscribers out there that's interested in a few calls to uh, a couple of trucking companies that you guys want me to call um, other than the ones other than the mainstream ones that I pretty much know about through uh, driver posts and through my email for some other trucking companies that you guys throw my way give me a little bit of background on that company because the one company I was looking for that a subscriber wanted me to call, I really couldn't find it. You know what I'm saying? So if you see a truck out here or you see it on Facebook or on, on you know, whatever media that you saw it, let me know about it and send me a little bit of background on it so I can actually get the right company that you want me to call and I'll chop it up with them. That's it. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. To my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell though because you won't get good content like this. Anyway, all right, I am out. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a blessed day. Who's next? You guys tell me.